Hello everyone. Uh, I'm back after uh, being away for some time on a holiday where I didn't really have a chance to make any videos. I, I did uh, do my usual stake pool <clears throat> monitoring maintenance and stuff like that. Uh, but that's uh, about it. Uh, so now I'm back and uh, today's video is going to be on server time synchronization or stake pool time synchronization. So if we look at this, um, I just made this panel in Grafana to illustrate this and uh, on <clears throat> one of my relays I uh, uh, disabled my time synchronization setup so that it's like set to default and this is uh, what happens when it's set to default so if you haven't configured this is what it looks like and I got the <clears throat> idea for this video basically from um, looking at some Twitter posts uh, that post their Grafana setups and I see time synchronization with uh, the maximum errors of you know 500 milliseconds plus and um, well it's, uh, it's I guess it's not that huge of a deal but when you think about uh, a slot being one second in the Cardano network then uh, having a, a time error a maximum time error of like uh, half a second is is actually a lot so uh here with the default you see that my maximum so this uh, uh, the the query from grafana is the uh, maximum uh, error in seconds but i uh, multiply it by a thousand to get milliseconds um uh, is growing to almost one second now which is a whole a whole uh, cardano slot uh, which could be a block actually so uh, of course we want our server to be well synchronized so that uh, you know it makes a block at the right time uh, th that it's scheduled to make it uh, otherwise the block may be may end up on, on a fork that uh, gets rejected uh, by the network and then we don't get <clears throat> we don't get anything for that block so uh, it's important to synchronize if I so this is just the USA system which I uh, set to default but if we look at uh, if I turn on uh, my other servers uh, you will see the huge difference so you don't even see their lines they're at the bottom and they're all below 10 milliseconds of error and that's maximum error so um, that's the result we're going to get after after this video and um, uh, that's about it. Uh, we, we will use um, um, Chris uh, Grafagin, Gra ah, sorry, Chris Grafagnino, uh, Grafagnino's guide, uh, which he made uh, all the way back in uh, the ITN days. And I used it then and I'm using it now. Uh, uh, so uh, thanks uh, to him for uh, making this. There's a lot of good stuff in this uh, uh, GitHub uh, document and uh, the, the repository he made. Uh, so not just for time synchronization, but also for some server optimizations. Um, so I invite you to check that out. I'll put the link in the description. Um, his uh, pull ticker is uh, master and um, I will put that in the description as well and uh, yeah so that's about it for for some kind of an intro and now let's uh, get to work so I'm here in the in my server and the first thing I want to do is uh, install a thing called crony uh, which is a network uh, an NTP uh, network time protocol uh, implementation software package whatever you want to call it that basically uh, for most setups uh, works better than the default NTPD uh, that uh, you are given when uh, when setting up a server um, 
so the NTP is uh, network time protocol and uh, this is what computers use to synchronize uh, their times, their clocks uh, with the internet standard reference clocks. Uh, so th there's a hierarchy to to that, uh, like which clocks are, are uh, you know straight in one and and so forth. But uh, that that doesn't matter for us really. What's important is that we'll install Crony and we'll uh, uh, edit the configuration settings a little bit to optimize it, and then uh, our server will be well synchronized with <clears throat> with the actual time. So let's uh, install Crony. We can just do apt-get uh, install, or if you're not the root user, then use sudo. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's apt-get install Crony. Yes. And uh, that's gonna set that up. Can clear that and then we can do systemctl status crony and we see that uh, it's uh, running now so um, just by installing crony our uh, time synchronization should be uh, a bit better uh, so let's see if we can observe that yes there we go uh, Ah, no, uh, let's do last five minutes. So when we uh, installed it, the, there was a spike. So uh, to see the effects of it, we we'll, we'll have to wait for some time. But it looks like, uh, you know, it's down to, uh, let's, let's just look at the USA, it's down to 28 uh, milliseconds now. Uh, and it was, uh, you know, climbing from 200 to uh, up to one second as we saw before if we look at the last hour we see that here we had a spike of one second so with crony uh, that's that seems to be a, a bit better but again we see here uh, it, it because of this spike it's hard to see it um, but uh, if we look at the values, it's 28 milliseconds here, and it's going to grow to 35, 43, and uh, 50, and so on. So uh, in essence, it's showing the same behavior as it, it did here. The pattern is the same. Uh, the, the error is going to uh, grow and grow and grow and grow until it uh, sinks to like zero again then it's going to grow 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 then it's going to uh, sink to zero and and so on so we want to disable that and we want to have a constant you know low error um, and that's what uh, editing the the configuration will do for us so let's check out that next uh, we we have a okay we don't need this anymore um so if you look at the Chris's uh, GitHub, uh, there's going to be this uh, crony uh, section and um, we can uh, copy paste the uh, location of the configuration file for crony and we can look at it and this is the default. So we can either uh, delete all of this and uh, just copy paste what he put in or we can just uh, manually uh, switch some things. So I'm gonna go through uh, go through it manually. Uh, the first thing is um, the servers that we're going to sync from. So he picked like Google, Ubuntu, uh, and like all uh, good good servers. So like Ubuntu we have here, but we have only Ubuntu. So for example, we don't have uh, Google, uh, and not. So let's let's copy paste this in. So uh, Google and then some uh, additional uh, uh, parameters for for each server. 
uh, but the important thing is that we prefer the Google. So if, if we can uh, get the information from Google, we're going to get it. Now the keys and the, the drift file that stays the same. Uh, now maximum update skew. We're going to lower it to uh, 5.0 and um, uh, yeah, we're going to change this make step to be lower and uh, so the, the, the last part of uh, Chris setup we don't have by default so we're just going to copy paste that in after after our last uh, argument and that's it uh, we save this okay uh, clear and now we have to restart crony so restart crony and uh, we can check the status again and that's fine so if we look at our dashboard again we will see that uh that are um so this is what we had before we remember 43 milliseconds uh, and uh, this is the behavior i was uh, telling you about it's growing then it sinks a little bit then it's growing again and by installing crony we reduced it to like 50 milliseconds okay now uh now you see that once we changed it it's going to drop down even further and uh, uh more importantly it's not going to exhibit this growing behavior it's going to be stable so here we are below 10 milliseconds and uh, we will stay that way i'm gonna let this uh, i'm gonna let some time pass just to get a better picture and then uh, show it to you so um we got a few minutes past and uh, as you can see the line is uh, very stable under 10 milliseconds uh, which is pretty good if uh, i turn on my other servers you can see that now they're all you know following the same trend and in the same uh, error range so um there we go from uh, possibly a one second error to uh, under 10 milliseconds, uh, to be precise, about seven or eight milliseconds error. Um, it may not seem like a big deal, but uh, it, it can make uh, a big difference in your uh, stake pool uh, reliability. Uh, you really want it to, uh, to have to keep decent time and uh, that's it uh, we have uh, set it up uh, nothing else to do with time synchronization uh, so thank you for watching and thank you uh, chris for um, making this uh, this uh, stuff that uh, we use today uh, chris has been uh, as i mentioned he made this uh, f during the itn so he has been a valuable member since ITN and he is present on the mainnet as well. So um, that's it. Uh, I will uh, see you next time. Good luck uh, setting this up uh, and getting blocks and all that. See ya.